Our next guests are here to perform their brilliant song, Moral of the Story. Please welcome the delightful, the wondrous, Ash and Niall Horan. Everybody, there they are. Look at you two. Now, I've got to tell you, you, you your voices have been played around my house 24 hours a day for, like, the last month. The song is a huge success. So congratulations, Ash, and... Congratulations, Niall. What you've both done on the, on the track is amazing, but I know that you recorded the song separately, and now that you're together, this is the first time you've met, right? Just a few days ago. Yeah, we literally met just a few days ago for the first time. We've had a song together since April. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. weird. And this was the first time we'd met. What was that first meeting like? I don't know. I think I feel like we were like immediate <laughs> old friend. We were like cursing each other out yeah. within the first five minutes. <laughs> no, it was good fun. It was a good laugh because we'd spend so much time chatting over Zoom and FaceTime about the record and just like getting to know each other and stuff. And then, yeah, here we are. And here yeah. you are. I feel, like we're all, I feel like I'm on Love at First Sight or something. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm asking you about blind dates and the date that you went on the other week. <laughs> but now, Niall, it's so nice to see you. You were here, you were in this studio days, the day of lockdown, basically. We were celebrating yeah. Niall Horan Week on the show. We had so many massive things that we did that week. You were about to go off on this huge world tour. The album was out on the Friday, and, and it was such a strange time for both of us. I can remember you standing in my office and we were both going, well, I don't know what we do. I don't know if there'll be if, when I'll come back to work. And you were going, I think I'm going to have to cancel my tour. What's this time been like for you? I was nuts that week. I remember, like, obviously we did so many cool things and it was very exciting. And then we just turn on the news and it's all kicking off. And then within 48 hours, I was back in the UK and haven't left it since. <laughs> and just, that, yeah, it was just a nuts time. But it's been good. It's been, in a weird way... Like, it's been nice, because I haven't had this much time off in 10 years, as you very well know. Yeah. And it's been kind of nice to be in one place for, for a long time and not have to pack a suitcase all the time and get on board on things like this with Ash. And, <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been a cool year. It's, yeah, I mean, but you, you, did, you have managed to do something which I think is extraordinary. Uh, on Saturday at the Royal Albert Hall... Um, tell, for anyone who doesn't know, tell them, tell them what you did and, and why you held this, this event that you held. Yeah, I wanted to do a virtual gig, you know, it was becoming the thing, and then I also wanted to do one with a bit of a difference, and I, basically all the money that was raised on the night with all the people that watched, we gave all, every single penny to <clears throat> uh, crew members. First of all, my crew that I was going to be touring with that we never toured, and just crew in general. A, a, a fund was set up here in the UK called We Need Crew, for all the fun member, or all the crew members who had kind of not made any money this year because if we don't tour, they don't make money. And they're kind of like our unsung heroes of our industry, really. It's an absolutely brilliant thing that you did. It really, really is. Well, it's a fantastic thing. <laughs> and now, Ash, let's, the, the, the song Moral of the Story is such a, a huge smash hit, but you released the song in 2019. What made you want to make this new version with Niall? Oh, man. Well, I, I mean, I've been a fan of his forever, but the song, it kind of ended up starting to take off a year after it came out. And we were like, whoa, this is such a cool moment. And um, I ended up, you know, reaching out to his team and um, he had heard the song and liked it a bit and jumped on and um yeah <laughs> Did you like it? i don't know i'm nervous yeah. oh my god um but yeah he jumped on and it was so good and um yeah it was kind of like he was there the day we wrote it and the song turned out so much better than was it being that. such because i know that you're you're a big fan of, of niall and like and it was particularly his brilliant first solo album was it was it odd for you in that moment reaching out to him and asking to do the song. How do these things work? It was so weird. <laughs> I was like, well, he's so famous. This is very strange. Um, but then it was sort of like, as soon as we were on a FaceTime together, it was like, oh, like you're just like, you, like we're normal humans and just hanging out and making a song together. And suddenly it was like, oh, this makes so much sense. Mm. And 
Yeah. Well, the, the but I'm still, I'm still nervous about it. It's well, crazy. you have security. Let me tell you this: <laughs> you have nothing to be nervous about. The the song is an absolute smash, and you both sound so brilliant on this record together. And we're so happy that you're going to perform it right here on the Late Late Show. Stick around, Ash and Niall will perform here when we come back.